Hello, I'm Cynthia Sampson and today I'll be sharing with you how to get into medical school. I am in UCC SMS, that is UCC, Medical School of... Is that much? I'm scared. School of Medical Sciences and I'm doing medicine myself. Yeah, so let's get into the video. So for today I'll be talking to you about getting into medical school using the WASI slash in deck without um much information is that how they say it i don't think so <laughs> okay like let's just get into the video guys straight into the video Firstly, okay. we are going to talk about requirements so how do you get into medical school so for the requirements you're going to um the they're going to give you a range for the NovTech or your wasi or even a combination of the two i know for ucc sms they take people who um, combine the wasi and NovTech. i don't know for the other schools Yes, and then the cutoff points, it usually changes to be honest. Obviously, all six you are secured, all seven of course, but then for the like the stretch, it depends on year to year. If the particular batch did well in the Awasi, then the cutoff point is going to be really then the range of the cutoff is going to be really um this thing small for like it's going to like say 06 to 08 or 06 to 09 but then if the batch didn't really do well then that the range is going to stretch you know yeah so that's for the cutoff so it changes from year to year so i'd advise that you check the school's website to know the particular cutoff points for that particular year so just check the school website okay now i'll be talking to you about um say you've made it for the cutoff so now you're being called to go to the school the first thing is you expect is an interview the interview cuts across all the schools in Ghana. But then some of the schools do a written exam as well in combination with the interview. So I know like for example, that's the written examination. But then for tech, tech has cancelled the written examination. So now all they do is just the interview. And that is if my source is right. And for UDS, for D UDS, I'm not so sure if they combine both. But the interview is assured. You're going to have an interview. And for you see SMS, it's just an interview. You don't try to connect them. However, if you want to be really sure about this information, you should check the school website. So that's for the interview and the uh, written examination. So now let's delve really deep into the interview. So I think once you are accepted into the school and they are called to go for an interview or even a written examination, I think you should contact um someone who's already in the medical school of your choice. See, if you are called to go to um, interview at tech, contact someone who's in tech medical school for help, exactly. They're going to give you a guide on what to do, what not to do, how to dress, everything. So I think you should contact someone who's already in the school. For you see SMS, for example, if you contact someone, they are likely to give you um, a guide, which is um, by the CMF, um, Christian Medical Fellowship, um, in UCC on what to do, what to expect, and everything. And the guide is really helpful. So I think once you're contacted for an interview or even a written examination, just contact anybody who's already in that medical school for help. Yeah. So for the interview, first and foremost, yeah, um, the dress code has to be official. Personally, I wore um, a classic black suit with a skirt, you know, the skirt type of suit, not the trousers. I, I want it to be very simple and very basic. I wore a shoe, my natural hair was tied in a bun. I was looking very simple, very classic, basic, yeah. Um, so just like be very formal. So your attitude, what kind of composure should you have? You know, um, I think you should be very confident. No, I think you should be very confident, but don't be cocky, don't be over too confident or don't be too known, quote unquote. Because I remember after my interview, when I walked out of the room, the interviewers, the panel, sorry, the panel went on a break, so they went out. And I overheard um, two of them saying that he thought he had um, all six, so he thought he had at least six, that's six ones. So he thought, yes, he knows, you know, so he's going to be picked. Yeah. And I also personally know someone who had six, six ones, who was called for interview in um, some of the medical schools, yet did not get admission in any of them. So you have to really be mindful of that. The fact that gotten six or seven doesn't mean your position is guaranteed. You can still go for the interview and still be balanced. So when you go there, go forget about the grid you had. Go there with the straight mind and like really prove yourself to them that you deserve to be there or you're worthy to be there. Yes. 
And also, don't be over, I uh, said, don't be overconfident. And if you don't know something, admit that you do not know. Find a nice way and frame it to tell them you do not know. But don't go there lying and pretend you know everything in the world. It's a, it's a red flag. I'm sorry. It's a red flag. Or if you want to attempt, tell them you're attempting, but you're not sure of it. But don't go there being answering something which you're not sure about and you're so confident that yes, there's a this, this. When you know yourself, you're not sure. Um, because that can kill someone in the future. So they're also looking at like these little little things. So they have to be careful of that. Mm -hmm. Um, for UCC SMS, um, most of that people in my class were asked how to manage stress. So I think that's a question you should definitely check out for, because medical school is very stressful. So you have you have to know. You have to. They will ask you. You don't actually have to know, but they're going to ask you. They're going to ask you how to manage stress. So go into the internet and check for um, like how to manage stress. For UCC SMS, if they ask you this question, I would advise you use the beach. You can go to the beach for relaxation because it's more tailored to UCC SMS and they are going to feel like that's a very genuine answer, you know. So I think she used that one. Okay. But of course, because I've said this, and if they are lost, we are going to um, UCC SMS, half of you are going to say I'm going to go to the beach. So find a nice way of framing it. Yeah. I was also asked how I would pay for my fees. Um, and I said my parents, and I was like, I'm sorry, they said, so apart from your parents, if they can't afford the fees anymore, who else can pay for you? And I said my aunts or uncles. So be thinking of like alternatives to that. Even if you don't actually have aunties and uncles who can help, just say aunties and uncles and get the name of her to say it. I'm not saying go lie. Oh. You didn't hear this from me too. You didn't hear this from this channel. <laughs> okay. Like just be be like be smart about your answers. That's what I'm just trying to say. Yeah, so now I'm going to be giving you some tips. See now you've actually passed the interview. Yes. Now you are actually in the school. If you go to a school that you had to write the exam, so you've written the exam, you're into the school. These are the tips I think you should look out for. I'm going to give you three tips and an advice at the last end. And I think the advice is really important. So do stay tuned to the very end. Because if I had understood this advice earlier, I think I wouldn't have stressed as much anyway. So um tip one. Um look out for um this goes out to my ladies. Look out for guys who come to you and say that they want to help you out, um, help you out, like help you study and everything. Like they want to form kind of a steady partner relationship with you. Some of them are going to use it to trap you into a relationship. So open your eyes, girls. Um, but the the thing about it is, it's not like everybody's going to trap you. There are amazing people out there who won't, you know, who aren't like that. Like they're going to help you genuinely, and you won't have anything in return, like nothing. But there are others that are also going to use it to trap you. So just open your eyes and like be able to know who is genuine and who wants something in return. Just open your eyes to that. Um, so that yeah, it's like it doesn't shock you when it happens. You know, well, this is normal. This can actually happen. Okay, it's not normal, but it can happen. Yeah, those are the outliers. In medical, you find a lot of the students or your colleagues dating each other. So if you think you can't handle distractions or it's going to bother you if the guy was dating one semester and the next semester, he's dating your best friend or even your certain partner, honey, just be aware. I'm just giving you like a, a brief intro into medical school so that when you get there, things don't like just fall on you like overwhelmingly, you know? Yeah. And yes. the last one is... I'll be cool with everybody. It doesn't matter the grade you had before you got there or the age you were getting. It doesn't matter. When you get into medical school, be cool with everybody. Medical school mellow you. I'm not even kidding. Be chill with everybody. Don't come and do the honey. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Seriously, be cool with everybody, okay? So the last one is advice. So medical school is like um, a whole journey. And your goal is to become a doctor. So now let's use a staircase, for example. Um... As an analogy, so the top of the staircase is you become a medical doctor. You have staircase one, staircase two, staircase three. Staircase one is level hundred, or it be model one, or exam one. Exam one may be very difficult, or staircase one may be very difficult. But don't generalize the difficulty of staircase one and say that means the entire medical school is going to be difficult like this. Don't do that. That's not the mentality you want. The mentality you want to have is okay. So this is difficult. Let me find people that can help me overcome this particular module. When I finish this particular module or exam or staircase one or even level 100, then and you move to level 200, 
If you put all your energy into level 200, if level 200 is also difficult and you need help, people are still around, go ask for help, you finish level 200, you climb up, it's like a hurdle. You take baby steps, by then they're going to get there. They're going to see, um, hear most of the seniors saying they're going to be okay. And they're going to be like, how? Because like when you see the current situation, it's like, Charlie, you're suffering, you're not seeing talk. But trust me, you're going to be okay, because I've been there. Honey, you are coming. I've been there. You you go through it and you see. But it comes with stressful, so just come prepared, yeah? You'll be fine. You'll actually be really fine, okay? And for me, one thing that has really helped me through medical school is having God on my side. And God has helped me through so many situations. Like, man. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yeah, so, yeah. Just, if you're a Christian, hold on to God really tightly. If you're not, um, if you're atheist, <laughs> all i'm saying is god has really helped me in medical school and he can also help you so just avail yourself to him yeah that's what i'm just trying to say okay so if you stay to the very end thank you so much for staying to the very very end this is with Thea. this is a lifestyle channel so do subscribe i'll be posting more content uh yeah so i hope i see you next time in my next video bye guys uh -huh.